June 17th, 2018. I'm still on Lake Vermilion today. I caught a couple of fish yesterday and I wanted to try to put a pattern together based on my experience yesterday. It didn't go quite as planned. Uh, I wasn't seeing the same fish that I, I was the day before. Um, I was able to mark fish fairly deep right off the reefs and then jig them up with a jigging wrap. And I thought, um, I thought I was getting the hang of it yesterday. So I was kind of excited to get out there today to, to try to replicate that. But when I went out and tried to find the same fish, uh, they weren't there anymore. And so I, I ran around and looked at structure and tried to figure out, you know, are they somewhere else in the structure? And um, in the deep water, I, I wasn't seeing anything but small fish. Um, I still tried to, to use a jigging wrap and I got two fish that way and then I got another fish uh, on lead core. So all in all, it was a fairly good day. I'm learning the lake a lot more. I'm seeing where other people fish. There, there, there were a couple of pros out there today and I saw them moving around a little bit. So I have some ideas for trying to get out tomorrow. The advantage of going out and, and copying the pros is they're on the fish all the time. So they really know from day to day, you know, how they move. So um, it's kind of short circuits the process of finding the fish again. If I can be fairly confident that, you know, the pros are there because they expect the fish to be there. You know, when I look for fish, uh, you know, I'll look even harder. And if I'm not finding the fish, I can put some extra time in and really learn maybe something new about how to find the fish. If this is your first time here. I'm an avid fisherman. I live in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. I'm documenting 100 fishing trips in 2018 and putting the results on YouTube. Hit the subscribe button to follow along. Most of the trips are in Lake Winnebago and Green Bay, but I'm spending the month of September in northern Minnesota. I fish Lake of the Woods and Lake Vermilion. If you have any questions or feedback, leave them in the comment section. I fish this lake the more amazing it is uh, I'm not sure what the dimensions are but it's you know just a sprawling piece of water you know a lot of interconnected islands and uh, reefs that come up to the surface you know there's little buoy markers all over the place you know, hazard markers all over the place drawing your attention to a you know a reef that comes almost to the surface it's such a difference from Lake of the Woods um, at least the part I was fishing, Lake of the Woods is, you know, just a little bit of structure on the south end and a huge basin. Uh, the Canadian side has a lot more structure, but, you know, the, the part, in the American side that I was fishing is, is, was basically just lead core and um, finding the fish in the, in the basin. So uh, the focus became catching them, you know, find, finding, you know, productive area and then catching them. Whereas, you know, here the fish can be anywhere and it's just a matter of putting the pattern together to find it. Didn't do a real great job of finding the pattern today, but I, I do have uh, optimism for tomorrow. You know, and the, it looks like the weather's going to remain stable. There's no reason to believe that the fish aren't going to start biting again and, and just kind of reveal themselves. And I'm really looking forward to that. Today was trip 83 out of 100 of my effort to be better fishermen. No countable walleyes today, just three little ones. So that leaves a total at 137 for the year. This information, let's get out and fish.